What is up, Waffle Gang? I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationships. I've enjoyed the last couple of videos we've done on it, so I thought, why not do another one, right? <laughs> if you are new here, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. And I just want to thank a couple of members who've rejoined just recently, so I'll whiz through them real quick with Gillian Watson, Charm Oz, B Brack, Elkrid665, hope you're well, my friend, Talon Sage, and Lily Pop with the join. Thank you so much for your support it means the absolute world to me and for everyone to spend 20 minutes of your precious time with me today means the world so thank you so much for being absolute legends hope you can't hear poppy clicking away in the background there <laughs> and let's crack on with today's stories much love guys So this story comes from BookFam and it's titled My Twin Brother 26 Male Wrote a Book About Our Family and Now He's Getting Offers for Publication. I26 Female want to be supportive but it uncovers a lot of family secrets and I'm terrified for our siblings' reactions. I will try to keep this as brief as can be. I'm very proud of my brother and excited for him. This is an absolutely massive break for him and opens up a lot of doors. He picked up an agent and has several offers on the table from great companies who want to publish his memoir. He has changed all of the names in the book except for his own. Some backstory, we are the youngest of four. We share a mum with our two older siblings, 38 male and 36 female, but have a different dad. My other sibling's dad is bipolar and had a bad addiction for many years while they were young. Our siblings have struggled throughout their lives with addiction, financial problems and mental health issues. It's been speculated that my brother may have been borderline personality disorder, bipolar or a mix of both. My sister has been diagnosed with BPD and she's been in therapy for many years and has recognized a lot of her wrongdoings. So our history is a bit strange. My mum was married to their dad for many years. They eventually divorced and she raised my half siblings on her own for a long time. Then she met our dad and had my brother and me. They stayed married until we reached age nine. By this point, our half siblings were just a nightmare for my dad, constantly rebelling because they hated him and any time he tried to discipline them since he was not their real father. Behind the scenes, their dad was encouraging this sort of behavior and would constantly argue with our mum in their defense. My siblings broke furniture, glass, punched holes in the walls, got into screaming fights almost daily and a slew of other fucked up things that might have gotten them kicked out of other households. Instead, my dad reached a breaking point and my parents separated slash divorced and that was the end of that. So after that, things just got worse and worse. My brother and I witnessed a lot of blowouts between my older siblings and mum and were often asked to step in, take sides. My half siblings treated mum terribly at this time because they had so much anger towards her. They were abusive to all of us verbally and on one occasion that ended with the police being called. My older sister got into a physical fight with my twin brother and he ended up with stitches. Okay, getting a little too deep here. Point is, shit was always going nuts in our young adulthood and it impacted my brother and I in a lot of negative ways. Finally, we moved out and mum got some help. My siblings live with their dad and have mellowed out a lot. They've apologized over the years, my sister especially since the therapy, but since still they are not easy to be around, mainly because of all the resentment my brother and I have toward them. And we tend to keep our space except for holidays, etc. Long story short, they didn't know that my brother has been writing about them for ages, since he first found his talent. And now he has this incredible and painful book and wants to publish it. And I'm freaking out about the reaction my siblings, my mother and my siblings dad will have. Even though their names are changed, they will obviously know who my brother is talking about slash referring to in every section. And I can't even fathom their rage. My sister in particular is huge on family privacy. Once she looked at my diary and found out I had shared some things about her to a close friend. I was 17. She has never been more furious and hateful and still brings it up as the most unforgivable thing I ever could have done. She and our older brother are in full agreement that what happens in the home stays in the home and it's none of anyone else's business. Alternatively, my twin brother is adamant now that even he feels a little bad slash nervous. This is also his story and he's allowed to share it however he wants, which makes total sense to me. Still, I'm afraid of many things with my siblings reaction since this is the ultimate betrayal. I know they are capable of a lot of very awful things when angry and I'm very nervous of how they may take to social media to declaim his memories or interfere with his personal life. I also feel guilty because since they have 
calm down and apologize so many times, I don't know how they'll react knowing that my brother still exposed them. This is made worse by the fact that my sister has been in therapy and recognizes her past abuse. And lastly, I'm nervous for my brother because while I know all of the memories he has in there are 100% true, our older brother's versions of the past is very different now and he will deny everything and believe it actually never happened. I'm bracing myself to take my brother's side since I'm sure my siblings will be furious with me regardless, but what else can I do? I don't think it'd be right to convince him not to publish, but I really don't know. Is there anything we can do to help smooth things over? To me in this one, it kind of felt like, as I was reading through, that the only reason that they really want to keep it private is because, you know, they've been shitty people. But I would say if your brother isn't worried about it, I wouldn't worry about it. However, if he is, I mean, many famous people, famous authors go behind a pseudonym. So why doesn't he consider that? That would be my only thought. But 100% he needs to go ahead and publish this book, not just for the financial gain, but also for himself by the sounds of it. Whenever I tell my little personal waffles, I always feel like, you know, I own that. And whilst I am careful, I, I do have empathy to people. So I wouldn't go out and tell like real personal secrets or any like thing like that, that people have told me. But, you know, you've lived this life. This is your story you're living right now. So I think you're allowed to tell it. I'd say 98% of the time. <laughs> but I'm so lost says and quotes, my sister in particular is huge on family privacy. Once she looked at my diary, and then says, your sister doesn't seem to understand what privacy even is, but anyhow, support him, have an honest talk with him about potential fallout, discuss legalities if your sister tries suing him or something. And Megamo says and quotes, she and her older brother are in full agreement that what happens in the home stays in the home and it's none of anyone else's business. And then says, of course, that's because they are abusers and don't want that out there. Her pursuit of privacy did not, however, extend to not reading your diary. You and your brother should accept that this will likely be the end of the relationship you have with your siblings. Your brother seems prepared to pay that price and I don't blame him. They don't sound like they contribute anything that worthwhile to your life. Like someone else said, make sure your brother gets his legal ducks in a row, just in case. Silver Raven says, so talking about their shitty behavior would be the ultimate betrayal. Not the fact that for at least a decade you both underwent abuse at their hand. The fact that you know they're flipped the fuck out because of this is just further proof of their abusive behavior. The fact that when talking about you and your brother's abuse, they are making themselves out to be the victim is reprehensible. Support your brother. Writing this book isn't only his big break, but it's also therapeutic. Be prepared for you and your brothers to cut yourselves off from them. I think in preparation for the publishing of the book, you and your brother should prepare yourselves. Make sure that they don't have any access to any important documents, etc. Of course, your abusive siblings agree that what happened in the home stays in the home. They're abusers and don't want anyone to know about how shitty they both are. Know what would have prevented this mess? Them not being abusive. That would 100% prevented your brother from writing a memoir about his abuse. There is no way to smooth this over and your siblings will be pissed at you and in all likelihood will revert back to their abusive behavior. Keep records of any and all harassment towards you and your brother in case you need to make a restraining order. You need to understand that if your siblings take their anger out on both of you because of this book, none of them have changed. They aren't sorry for the abuse and your lives will be better off without them. Stand by the one sibling that never abused you and has been your support network your entire life. Stop trying to appease your abusers when they get angry with you. Fuck it so what says, love the name. I'd like to leave this quote here for you and your brother. You own everything that happened to you. Tell your stories. If people wanted you to write warmly about them, they should have behaved better. Through Far Away says lol, big on family privacy, then proceeds to read someone else's diary, lol. They made their bed, so whatever. The Silver Falcon says he should probably also change his own name in the book. Plenty of authors use pen names. It's his choice and he should be prepared to face the fallout. But sounds like he's written a great story and I hope he succeeds in getting it published. And we'll have one more from Scarlet Trouble who says, congratulations to your brother on getting so much publisher interest in his book. It sounds like your older half siblings are hardly worth having a relationship with anyway. If this is the nail in the coffin for them, that might be the best for you all. Does it occur to anyone else that people who are the most concerned about family privacy tend to be the ones who have been utterly shitty to their family members and have the most potential embarrassment at stake? Wishing your brother every success. Now, what do you guys make of this story? Do you think they should be publishing their book, hiding it under a pseudonym or not publishing at all? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we move on to another story. And our next story comes from communication C7230. My 16 male parents are having bad argument after I came out as bi. I feel guilty. I made a post about this. I came out to my parents last Sunday while we were having dinner. My dad and sister took it well, but my mother did not. She went quiet and ignored it. That really hurt, honestly. I had at worst expected to be screamed at by mum, just ignored it and just avoided the topic. Two days later, she came to my room and we had a conversation. She said she loved me. She told me that my attraction to men was a test from God and I must not let these urges get the better of me. She knew I was capable of resisting these temptations and that I would make the right choice. Yeah, it was pretty fucked up. I knew she was religious, but not this religious. I didn't tell dad about this as they are already fighting and I knew it would make things worse. I really hate this. I really regret coming out. I feel guilty about dropping this bomb on the family. I feel like we're happy, you know. Now we are not. My sister has been supportive, but she is also starting to feel the strain of our parents' cold war. I don't know what to do. I don't think I can do anything here. I just want to put the genie back in the bottle, but I can't. I don't know what to do. I feel really stressed out about it. And we have got an update on this story as well. And I can't imagine what Opie would be going through in this situation, you know, having to come out to their parents like that at 16 years old. I remember my feelings when I was 16 and they were all over the place. And I always find it incredibly hard in these stories when I think that's that's a real person who's dealing with this, dealing with having to having to come out about them real selves, the, the, the true selves. And whilst I can understand, you know, people might be a little shocked, they might be taken back, you know, it's a, it's a news, it's news to them, right? But to sit there and totally avoid the topic, then go to your room and say, you know, you, you should be able to resist these temptations and all this kind of shit. It's just like, oh my word, my head is pounding just thinking about it. And part of me was like, it almost felt a bit sneaky that she went to your room and done this behind your father's back. And I think your father does need to know this. And yes, they may be going through some marital issues already, but that's not your fault. You're just trying to be you and you deserve to be you. And that's all I got to really say about that. But we're going to cover some comments. Then we're going to go to the update and hopefully, please, a bit of wholesomeness. Light Shedder OK says, oh, poor baby, it's not your fault. You're trying to be yourself and those two people should accept that wholeheartedly. Sengachi says, I've got three things to say to you. First, look, you're too young to have really done the serious relationship thing. But here's a fundamental truth about it. If hiding truths about your behavior and beliefs is the only thing keeping a relationship together, the relationship is not going to last. If you really think that speaking the truth about your mother's behavior is going to push this over the edge, I promise you the relationship is already dead and it just needs to be buried. Second, your father has the right to know about this. If he would choose to not be married to a bigot who would say such things to his son, that is his choice to make and you don't have the right to stop him from making it. He gets to choose who he's married to and what moral qualifiers are a criteria for that. Third, you need this and that matters. If someone's relationship cannot take the strain of protecting and caring for their child, that's not a relationship worth having. It is every decent parent's worst nightmare to imagine their child suffering in silence because they didn't think their parents would sacrifice to protect them. That's the damn point of being a parent. Parents will run into burning buildings to protect their children because children are worth it. I promise you, your safety and well-being are worth it to your father, whatever the strain is. Oh, bloody well said and got me tearing up on that one. Diabolical Deb says, you need to tell your dad. The fighting is not your fault. It's your mum's for being whatever the fuck she is being to you. Horrible, wretched, homophobic, a bad parent comes to mind. You can't have her coming to you and saying horrible shit to you and not let your supportive and caring parent know. It's not fair to you and it is absolutely a fight your dad should take up for you. And then we'll finish up with OP replying to that saying, I know I should, but they have been fighting a lot and I don't want to make it worse. Even typing this out was hard. She also has some other weird comments when we talked. It is weird. She kind of talked about how me being bi meant that I could live a happy life without having to touch a man, that I should date a girl. I should not spend time with people who make those temptations worse. Ugh. Worst case, I thought she would say it was a choice and cut me out, but this is another kind of awful. So now we're going to move on to the update to see what that says. So, updates. 
I told my dad about all the weird comments that she made just after I posted. I felt if I couldn't do it, then I would probably have not done it at all. He was very upset. He didn't say anything, but then mum decided that it would be best for all of us if she stayed with her aunt, who lives like 10 minutes away for a few days, for everything to settle down. It has been really sucky. I really missed her, and the house is so dead and quiet without her, and dad seemed really sad. So yeah, nothing much else happened. Yesterday, mum showed up and asked if she could talk to me. Dad said I didn't have to, but I couldn't like ignore her like that, so yeah, we talked again. Dad asked if he should be there, but I felt it would make it worse for me, so he decided to take a walk. It was pretty stressful. She was crying, she hugged me, she said she was sorry. She said she had acted out of guilt and she had been horrible to me. She told me she was very aware of how intense these feelings could be, and after she had those thoughts, were guilt and shame. She had felt that it was her fault that I was bi, and yeah, she wanted me to be happy and she believes that gay people can't be happy. Dad made her really happy, and yeah, that is what she said. I'm still processing this. This is a lot to take in. Honestly, I think my mum may be queer. I'm sure she is. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, it is terrible to listen to all this, but she believes those things about herself, and I know that what she believes is bullshit. It sucks to listen to it, and it breaks my heart that my mum believes in such bullshit, but yeah, my mum must really hate herself. She promised that she is going to work on this, but I don't know if we will ever be the same relationship again. I still feel a bit guilty, but as people said, this whole thing would have been a mess any time I came out. I haven't told my dad about this, but I did tell him that she should work on this. So yeah, whole thing was a fucked up experience. So is staying at aunt's, but yeah, not fun. I've talked about therapy with my dad. I'm gonna need it. Lol. Like you said, and some of the commenters said, anytime you came out, you know, it wasn't gonna sway what the way she felt about it. It was always going to be this way. And I think the good thing is that, you know, you come out now. Try your best to enjoy being yourself and just roll with it. Don't worry about what other people think. And I know that's very easy to say. Don't, I'm not just playing that down. I know that's a very easy thing to say. I am just gonna read this one comment from the update from Etiquette Peach who says, all you can do is take care of yourself. Build support systems with friends and the members of your family who fully accept you and do your best to accept things as they are now. Even though they aren't good as they should be, that doesn't mean you have to be okay with what your mum has said and done. You don't have to forgive the hurt that she has caused, but accept that all you can do is live your life as best as you can. You can only control how you interact with the world, not how others do. I'm wishing you the best, OP. This is a very hard thing to go through. Now, what do you guys make of this story? What advice would you give to our last OP there if you found yourself in a similar position? Maybe you have been in a similar position. I've heard many, many stories and spoke to many subscribers before about, you know, coming out and stuff like that and hearing all the different feelings that it's a, it's a whirlwind by the sounds. It's a whirlwind of different feelings and emotions all the time. And, and like I said before, at 16 years old, having to go through these feelings. And I mean, at any age, it's difficult, but I always find it, I always find it an, a, an incredibly hard read when someone that young is having to face these feelings, you know, and not having a supportive parent behind them is, yeah, it's it's heartbreaking, really. But what do you guys make of today's stories? I know you've been enjoying a relationship story or two just recently, so let me know if you are still enjoying them. And a huge thank you for spending 20 minutes or so of your day with the channel, getting involved, joining up as members, absolutely incredible. Super helps the channel out, but you just being here is always more than enough. Thank you so much for your love, support, and time, and I will see you, you cheeky so-and-so, <laughs> in the next one. Take care, guys. Much love.